Hard work and persistence pays off in fighting for the rights of recreational fishers in this state. We can all catch our breath and revel in a win with the announcement by the Liberal Party that they will abolish Wreckfish SA as the peak body representing us if they win next March. This was our first priority when SAFA, Wreckfish Central and Fish and SA met with opposition leader Stephen Marshall in order to give recreational fishers back their voice. It's been a long time in the trenches lobbying against Wreckfish SA, which continually sold this state's fishers down the gurgler over marine parks. Not fighting for us when Persa slashed our blue crab bag limit by 50% and then 18 months later sat mute while Persa gave the pros back 50 tonnes. They killed us over the new arrangements for King George Whiting and other bag limit cuts. And they didn't even have the brass ones to turn up at any of the regional meetings Persa held for its much heralded sideshow community consultation. Under this mob as the peak body, we have suffered greatly, and now they even entrench themselves further into the Labour Party enclave by slamming a Liberal Party policy that will actually benefit all recreational fishers. They have hoisted themselves on their own petard. The Liberal policy clearly states the new Recreational Fishing Council will consist of members from SAFA, Recfish Central, Fish and SA, and Wreckfish SA if they're still in existence. Ballots will be held for the remaining positions from recreational fishers across the state. This council will have a direct input into the establishment of the new Fisheries Council comprising commercial and recreational fishers. This one will be a level playing field with neither sector having a voting advantage. So when the news broke last week, Wreckfish SA went into meltdown quicker than Fukushima. It posted anti-liberal headlines across its social media sites and sent out a letter to its small membership base, tagged Red Alert. It claimed this policy removes the independent voice for recreational fishers from fisheries decision making. Just hang on a minute. When has Wreckfish SA been an independent voice? It has always been a mute organisation unless PERSA and the Labor government wanted them to talk up the positive impacts of massive cuts to recreational bag limits or marine parks. Its letter went on to say the Liberal Party did not contact Wreckfish SA at all prior to this announcement. Come on, let's put the cards on the table here. Wreckfish SA held a meeting with the Minister more than a month after SAFO, Wreckfish Central and Fish and SA. Did not Wreckfish SA realise their days were numbered? Did they not think fishers would remember their sinister play on the marine parks? It just shows how out of touch they have become. If they were as quick and emotionally charged over cuts to our bag limits as they have been to decry this initiative to put a truly independent recreational fishing council together, then they wouldn't be in this predicament. Whatever the outcome of this election, Wreckfish SA can no longer exist because it is now publicly shown it is not an advocate of recreational fishers, but a doormat for the Labour Party and PERSA.